hi everybody welcome back to my channel made with love my name is heather so on saturday me and my daughter had made uh two deep dish pies about two liters of applesauce or apple butter and we made some bonus cinnamon buns with the extra pie crust in this video i was made on sunday my intro disappeared or something so i'm just quickly making a new intro for that one i was making my fennel soup so it's a, a whole thing of fennel a whole stalk of celery and five or six uh, peppers, a mixture of the orange and yellow. Uh, I just want to say to everybody, thank you for watching my channel and I'll see you when I'm in my kitchen making my soup. Okay, I am now in my kitchen. I am making my soup. So I've roughly chopped up fennel, a whole stalk of celery, and I think it was five or six peppers. So I'm just going to add this to my slow cooker. So I'm going to make a vegetable soup. I'm just kind of using like all the leftover vegetables from my crisper in my fridge. I'm just going to turn this on to high and put the lid on it. I'm going to add um, water and a little bit, like or the flavoring in a little bit. I'm going to let this cook down for about an hour and then I'll be right back and show you the next step. Okay, so it's been cooking on high for almost two hours. I'm just going to get the lid off. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. I'm going to have to add some more liquid to this because there's not a lot of liquid. But the other thing I was going to do is I was going to use my hand whisk, um, bl my blender here. I'm just going to do this to make a really nice thick soup. So when I get it all blended, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, I've been using my hand uh, mixer, blender thing, for about five, six minutes. Now it all looks like this. So now to this, I am adding a full can of coconut milk. And I did add two cups of water. I'm just going to stir this all in. This is going to thicken it up. So I'm just going to let this stay. I've turned it off. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to turn it back on to low. And I'm just going to let this simmer for half an hour. And then come back and it should be ready to eat. Okay, so now it's been about 45 minutes or so. So my soup is looking really good. It is done. Giving a good stir. Then I'm going to be making my garlic toast. Okay, my garlic toast is my garlic bread is really easy. I just get one of these big, extra long, extra wide French loaves. And just mix it in half. open it up and I've got a jar of garlic paste and I just spoon it on. And then when I get this all spread out, I just put it in the oven under the broil for probably about 10, 15 minutes. And that's our supper for tonight. Garlic bread and homemade vegetable soup. So I'll be back when it's all ready. Okay, a slight change of plan. I ran out of garlic paste, but in my fridge I've got sliced uh, smoked gouda. 
And the other one was a Cavardi with the jalapeno. So I'm going to do this other one. I'm going to do half of it Gouda and half of it uh, Cavardi. Jalapeno. Half is it smoked gouda and half the Havarti with jalapenos, and then I got the other one with the garlic. So I'll be making this as well as the soup. Put them in my oven. I'm just gonna put them under the broil. That will take about 20. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to move my camera up. My hand's right in the lens. Okay. Uh, that would probably take about 10, 15 minutes for that. My soup is already done. So I'll be back when I'm lifting up supper. Okay, so here's the final product of my soup. So this has got fennel, celery, red, and yellow peppers. Uh, and a whole can of coconut milk. And then here is my garlic bread, and this would be the cheese bread. Now the top here it kind of popped because it hit the, um, the thing in the oven, whatever it's called, the, it hit the heating element, so it kind of popped and kind of burnt a little. I had it up a little too high, too close to the element. But it still looks really good, so I'm going to slice this up so you can see how it's, it's toasted perfectly. I like it when it's a little soft still in the center. And of course, I'm trying to cut with my knife upside down, so that's really not going to work. And here's this one. I'm going to cut this one in half. Just. See just how I gotta set the camera down. Just can't hold the camera and cut with the knife. Okay. You can see how the bread is still soft inside and it's toasted on the outside and the cheese is melted and same with this one. Bread is soft on the inside and toasted on the outside, so it's perfectly done. Again, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody who watches my videos and subscribes to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.